Okay, so uh, we have the rear main seal um, on the new 1.5 liter EcoBoost engine. Part number for it is uh, BM5Z 6K301B. It comes with this uh, insert right here to keep the seal true. So as you slide it on, it keeps the seal straight. And this actually doesn't need to have any silicone put on it at all. You just basically slide it over like so, push down, you reuse the old bolts. And when you put the new pan on, the way the criteria is written, is you just run silicone up until the seal, but you don't put anything on the seal. I know some guys like putting some on the seal anyway, but that's particularly up to you. And obviously you are gonna transfer like the windage tray over and uh, pickup tube and all that oil pump's gonna go on, but we'll get to that here in a second. Okay, you've got uh, the rear, rear main seal all snug down. You can go ahead and put your flywheel on now. You don't have to do it now, but this is how I prefer to do it. You're gonna need six flywheel bolts. It's BE8Z6379AB. You're gonna need six of them. Flywheel's on. So now I'm gonna clean up the surface for the front. For the oil pump, I'm gonna clean everything up real good. And then uh, actually put the oil pump on. Okay. BM5Z6659B. That's the new pump uh, gasket. I'm gonna go ahead and set that on here now. One thing I forgot to do is I forgot to take the crank seal out. So I went from the back side with a flathead screwdriver and popped out the crank seal. Just catch the edge of it from the front. Now, new gasket is on, the bottom's cleaned up. It's got two dowels on each side to fit in there. And then uh, go ahead and take your old bolts and put them back in. Remember where they go. The three black ones go here, and then the rest of them go around. So the three black ones right here, the two longer ones here, and then the three regular size chrome ones there, stainless there. So now you go ahead and snug all that up. You don't gotta kill it. I'll show you how I do it, and then I go back and check it with a torque crunch. I've done this so many times, I know exactly what it feels like now. So, oil pump is on. I'm gonna go ahead and set the front seal in now. It's very particular how you do this seal. I'm not gonna be able to record it, but you have to roll this seal in. And you gotta get the seal. I won't be able to record this, I'm sure. I'm gonna try though. Can you record me putting this seal in here? Uh, how long oh. you take it? Hold on, it's already there. Come over here where, you, where we can see. So when you put the seal in, you gotta start on the bottom, and the seal has to be pushed back, it has to stay back. You start and you roll. So that side is in, and then you gotta roll, but you gotta make sure that, and if you get, if you get hung up, you can put a little flat screwdriver in there that seal has to be stay has to stay back. I got lucky that time. It went in. It went in like it's supposed to. Thank you. You'll see that seal it has a tendency to roll out. It has to stay pushed back or else that thing will leak all over the place. You can see right there where I nicked it a few times when I was trying to pull the old seal out but that's okay it ain't gonna do nothing as long as that seal seals seal good you're good the seal is pointed back it's not coming out anywhere if you wanted to run like a real fine pocket screwdriver and just real lightly run it around there without damaging anything that would be okay too 
Okay, the water pump uh, seal is BE8Z6700 Bravo. And the bolts for it are, where are those little boogers at? Uh, W71043-S437. W71043-S437. Actually, I told you wrong. Here's the gasket. BE8Z8507A. So now we're going to clean the windage tray and transfer it over and then put the pickup tube from the oil pump on there. Let's go do that real quick. Alright, got it all cleaned up. I got the first, the back two and the front two bolts in, but now the two in the middle go to the pickup tube. So now we'll install that. Here is your oil pickup tube uh, O-ring. XS6E6626AA. Wipe this down real good. Pull that O-ring off. Put the new one on and go ahead and install it. It's three bolts. One in the pump. Two in the center of the windage tray. So one, two, three. And then you'll start prepping your bottom for uh, your oil pan cleaning and then install. There you can see the pickup tube is installed. Everything's nice and wiped off, nice and clean. And uh, now I'm gonna start prepping the surface for the oil pan to go back on. I'm gonna have to go clean out the old oil pan and get all that old material off. Um, there's a number of ways to do that. If you just use a soft wire brush, I know Ford doesn't like that. Um, they don't like people to do that, but it does work. It does really, really work. If you give it some surface to bind to, it specifically says in the manual not to do that, but they come back leaking if you don't do that or you use some kind of material to give it to bond to normal just adhesive when no crosshatch or nothing taken off it just doesn't work they come back leaking so i'm gonna go clean all this up and prep the block and then uh go from there so you can see here how i've done this is ta357 silicone it's all prepped everything's clean the block is clean but my battery is going so i'm gonna let it charge for a little bit and install this put the old bolts back in Okay, so there's two pins that have to be replaced in the bell housing or else it will crack. They actually did a study on this. The pin is a W701350-3 or S437. There's one on the top right there. There's one here. And then you can put this together. So that's what I'm doing now. Here's the... The number for the head gasket, DS7Z6051-L. Here is the block installed. Head gaskets on, new dowels for the head to sit on. Those dowels, the part number is uh, W701183-S300. And part numbers for the flywheel. W715618 S437. I have videos for everything else from the head up, torquing it. You just got to go in my gallery. I'll try to come back later. I'm really busy. Barely could get these videos out. Uh, but later I'll come back and link. Or you can go to the video and just put a cylinder head torque or something like that to see everything else being installed. But that's pretty much it. Um, I'll do a video when I get back to the valve cover on how to put everything on once it and timing it. Well, I think I already have a timing video too. I think I have all that already. So let me just go back and look. For now, be blessed and I hope you're enjoying the content. Please leave me a comment. I would appreciate the thumbs up. You don't have to though, but that helps. And uh, thanks. Consider subscribing to the channel.